One of the most exciting events on Phoenix Pro Wrestling's last show was the Gold Rush Interim Women's Championship match. Uh, Thunder Rosa was injured and unable to compete in the match, so she surrendered the belt, and there was a title match between the Fallen Flower Kikyo and Brittany Wonder. Uh, Fallen Flower Kikyo was successful. She was victorious in that match. She won the interim title. She is now the Gold Rush Pro Wrestling Women's Champion in its entirety uh, because of uh, events undisputed, that have happened since right. then. Undisputed. They, they, they took away the interim title. Mm-hmm. And so she will be coming onto the show along with her associate, Shotzi Blackheart. We've seen mm-hmm. them in uh, tag action before. Oh, they are uh, uh, they are sometimes teammates, sometimes allies, uh, but they will be coming out as a unit. Kikyo is offering up a challenge. Uh, she's actually communicated some information to us about the challenge. She says that, I will welcome any and all challengers who think they're a challenge. I am the Lady Luck Gold Rush champion. You will follow the flowers or get left behind. W- what do you think about this bold proclamation that she's making, uh, asking anyone, any woman who wants to come out into the ring to challenge her? W- w- what do you think about making such a uh, I like a it. I like, I mean, how can you not like anybody? How can you not respect somebody, anybody doing that? Uh, on the last show, I loved her match with Brittany Wonder. Uh, I thought no hyperbole. It's one of my five favorite matches in PPW history. And she really showed something. It was a great match. It was a long match. It was really hard hitting. And she came out ahead. And now she's got a little uh, little smoke. You know, she can make these kind of challenges and know that she has the skills to back it up. One thing that we noticed uh, basically from the moment that Kikio came here to PPW is that you know, she felt being in quote unquote in the shadow of Thunder Rosa that she kind she had to take a few extra steps. And sometimes, you know, you aren't a fan of some of the steps she took, right? She not afraid to cut corners. She's not afraid to, you know, one incident r- leaps to mind. Exactly. But at the same time, you have to be uh, impressed with what she has done in a relative short amount of time, and that she had basically become the the woman to beat. And now she is basically saying, okay, I've seen everybody here in the Bay Area. Who can, who can step to me? Who can come up with the best challenge for me? And that's kind of a tough sell because as far as I'm concerned, you know, in the last year or so, Kikyo's kind of shown now that, you know, you know Thunder Rosa is, is, is out of the picture here, now that she's the official undisputed women, you know, Gold Rush Women's Champion, that – you know, the, the person that decides to step up, we're going to applaud their courage, mm-hmm. but we might not really applaud their uh, logic <laughs> in doing such a thing. You know, it's I love it for both sides because I love that it's a great chance. It's not a title match, but it's still a chance to put a stamp on something. If somehow somebody does beat Kikyo, then I think you have a clear, oh, well, it looks like we just decided what our next title match is going to be. And I love it from Kikyo's point of view because... Like you said, surveying the talent around the Bay Area, having the confidence to say, I know who's out there, and I'm confident that whoever happens to step up, I got this. Well, in the introduction, it seemed like I was surprised that Kikyo was making uh, such a challenge. But really, this is this is classic Kikyo. Right. right. She, she always has the confidence. She always comes out. She, she antagonizes. She, she, she threatens and challenges. She's not afraid at all. To, uh, to to get someone angry, uh, and and I think that really uh, this is just a classic Kikyo move, and I actually wonder that whoever accepts this challenge, uh, it really is, uh, it's almost a no-win situation because if they come out and challenge and they lose, well, I mean they might not see another uh, Lady Luck right. title match for for a while, or, or not another because the title's not actually uh, up for grabs. But if they lose, they might not see a rematch. If they win. They don't get the belt. So <laughs> who's it? Who's that guy? Has got the belt right now that has basically been saying the same thing after every one of his matches, and he kind of backs up whatever he says. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. I'll say this. You know, she, he, she or he who has the gold makes the rules. Right. We've seen it with Boyce. Right. He he's going to have a very interesting match. That we'll talk about later on, but it is pretty obvious that if you have that and people want to come after you for it, 
you have to be confident a that you already have it you know that's a that's an inherent part of being a champion that you have this overwhelming confidence in yourself and so you know this is just kind of the natural progression with Kikyo. she's already you know been someone to uh not shy away from speaking her mind on things and now she's doing it ahead of time she's making people think about it she's not even doing it like off the cuff like after a match or something like this this is her saying I don't care. I get to say this because I know that whoever you put in front of me, I can take down. But like you just said, the person who does take on this challenge, if they make her, uh, you know, if, if it's a challenge for Kikyo and, you know, if there's an upset, oh, boy, like what do we have in our hands yeah, there? What happens you know, then? I mean, that that really opens up some interesting possibilities. 